Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about my new journey. And I do have children, so they could be running around in the background. There's one right there. There's another one somewhere else. But let's get into it. I'm gonna go back to the beginning of my education. When I was 19, I took a medical assistant course. I had a one-year-old daughter at the time, and the course was about nine months long. It was free, thank goodness, because I know nowadays they are charging a lot of money for these types of courses. I finished that in June of 98. We moved away uh, to a smaller town where I got a per diem job as a medical assistant at a county clinic. At a county clinic. I did, I was a medical assistant for 12 years total. Now, throughout those 12 years, I did want to go to nursing school. Unfortunately, circumstances would not allow that. I was a single mother. I had to work. Who's going to watch the kid? How am I going to get everything done type of thing? So I wasn't able to move on for a long time. I had signed up for LBN programs several times, but was never able to even start just because of uh, the circumstances. I wanted to do the RN program, but we all know the RN program requires about 10 to 12 prereqs. And again, back then there was no online classes, so childcare issues, yada, yada. Flash forward to April of 2009 when I was laid off. I was living in LA at the time. I was remarried. My circumstances had changed. Things were different. And I got laid off in April of 2009. Now this is during the time where the economy was really bad and everyone, not everyone, but people were losing their homes and their jobs and all that jazz. So I was laid off. And the first thing I did when I got laid off was go to a school that I had saw um, I had driven by it a couple times. It was an LVN school, along with other classes that it offered. So I drove right there. I took the entrance exam. I believe I took it that day and signed up and started May of 2009. I graduated that program September of 2010, and I took NCLEX, or the boards, to get a license in California in May of 2011. I did have a delay in taking boards because right after the program, I went right back to work. The program was 15 months and I didn't work for that entire 15 months. So I was like desperately needing to get back to work. So I returned to work as a medical assistant at a clinic while I studied for boards. And um, I became a nurse and stayed at that clinic. Now, so here we are 2011, I'm licensed, I'm working as an LBN. I started trying to conceive during the program. Little did I know it would take longer than I wanted to conceive. So basically I had a mind shift. I was not thinking about any more education. I just went straight to trying to conceive. I, I knew at the time that I wanted two babies. And at my age, at that time I was, I was 36 when I finally um, got pregnant with my second daughter. I'm working, trying to conceive, and I started this YouTube channel in 2012. So that's where this channel originated from, was infertility and um, later on pregnancy. I conceived finally in 2013. Yeah, 2013. When I was nine weeks pregnant, I get laid off um, at that clinic as an LVN which was really a blessing in disguise because I had really bad morning sickness. So I didn't work that entire pregnancy. I just stayed home. Shortly after I have my daughter, London, I started working for a Fortune 500 company. I went into the administrative side of nursing and I completely fell in love with this company. I just, I just loved it. Just good vibes, good people. I met my coworkers that are now my friends, still my friends there. I really just um, enjoyed the company. Okay, shortly after I had London, I started thinking about education again. 
I was at this company, so my mind at the time was, I really wanted to retire from this company. So I thought, I'm gonna get a bachelor's degree in healthcare administration. There was lots of positions that I would be eligible for if I had this degree. So that's what I focused on. I started taking classes at a private university that the company helped pay for. And that's where my mindset was. Right after that, I get pregnant with my last daughter. And I'm taking classes through the pregnancy. I did start to slow down because uh, again, I get really sick in pregnancy and it's really tough for me to keep up. Still wanting to uh, finish the degree, I just slowed down. So I had her in October of 2015, and then I was on this journey of having two babies under two. So the education just completely fell to the wayside. I also uh, transitioned to a different department, and I started working from home in 2016. I, I think I did do a, a few classes during this time, just trying to get, you know, started back up with taking classes. They were online classes. So by this time, you know, I was able to do the classes because they were online and convenient. Now, um, I got a new position. I'm working from home. I'm happy. I still love the company. However, the company started uh, going down. We had massive layoffs right and left. I survived the layoffs. I don't know how. My old department that I originally started in went completely under. It closed, several departments closed. It started making me question my choice of degree. You know, because originally I wanted to do it because I had planned on staying with this company. But then, you know, just all this happening gave me pause, like, oh, okay, maybe I should consider something else because, or, at this point, I don't think I'm gonna retire from this company. So flash forward to 2018, so that was 2016. Now moving on to 2018, in about July, August of 2018, I started to have some weird kind of back pain. Now I'm working from home, so originally started having some weird kind of back pain. Now I'm working from home, so I'm thinking it's my chair that I'm sitting in, or I'm sleeping the wrong way, I don't, you know, I, I, did, I really didn't know what it was, but it gradually got like worse and worse. It kind of felt like somebody was squeezing me like right here, really, really tight. I would take Advil or Tylenol and it would go away and I kept telling my husband, oh, I need to get a new chair, I need to get a new chair, this is really annoying. And then one day, late September of 2018, the pain just got unbearable to where I was on the floor, you know, screaming out in pain. I'm sweating, I don't know what's going on. I'm actually thinking this is like a cardiac problem. I, I couldn't, um, I didn't know what it was. So my husband says, well, I'm gonna call the ambulance. And I'm like, no, 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 you know, don't call the ambulance. And then the pain just ramped up and I said, okay, call them because I'm getting nervous now. I'm not, my anxiety's kicking in and I'm having like physical symptoms. I didn't know then that it was the anxiety causing the physical symptoms, but it was really scary. So the ambulance came, I went to the ER and they diagnosed me with gallstones. I was really relieved that it wasn't cardiac, but um, yeah, so it was, it was gallstones. Um, so they, basically they say, you know, see a surgeon, you need your gallbladder removed, yada, yada, go home, put me on pain medication. Well, the, during the next couple of weeks, the pain got really worse. I'm in the process of trying to see a surgeon at this point, but the pain got really bad and it, I couldn't hold down any food. I was just really miserable trying to wait to see a surgeon. So my older daughter comes home one day to, to see me and she, now mind you, she's an LVN at this point. And she comes to see me and she's like, you know, your eyes are really yellow. You look really, really jaundice. And I'm like, well, I'm not gonna worry about it. You know, it's no big deal. I'm gonna see the surgeon soon. And so she's like, no, 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 we need to get you to the ER. So she takes me to the ER and they're telling me that I have some kind of complication and I need to be admitted where I'm gonna stay until I have my gallbladder removed. That was a total of five days in the hospital. So I stay, I go to the med search floor. So this is the first time that I'm going to, you know, bedside nursing, even though I'm the patient, something about being on that floor made me just kind of fall in love with nursing again. And I told myself, you know, when I get out of here, 
I'm going to start the prereqs to become an RN. I'm just gonna make the transition. At the time, I didn't know how surgery was gonna go. I didn't know what was gonna happen. You know, it, it ended up being an easy surgery, not a bad recovery, but you know, it's one of those situations where you go, life is short. You know, I need to do what I wanna do. And it, it just really hit me. I don't know, something came over me. I honestly think that it had I had not stayed in the hospital, I don't know that I would even be where I'm at. I don't know, you know, I'm not sure. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I had this surgery and I discharged from the hospital on October 2nd, 2018, which happened to be the day I turned 41. I started pre-recs, my very first pre-rec on October 23rd, 2018. I stopped the video right here. In the next video, I'll go over pre-recs, the order that I took them, my grades, and where I'm at now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Supporting, I appreciate it. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.